Hey, Dave LaCaglia with Head Games Motorworks. Today, we got the V58 back from CNC. Check it out. have seen our past installments on this particular cylinder head we're trying to show all of it uh we're running a little out of time the cnc stuff took a little bit longer than we discussed and well here we are the head's back it looks beautiful so the head got uh it came back we blended it and then we put valve guides in it we sized them to the valve because that's a very important thing to do and then now we're ready for a valve job so you want to see the CNC port? Check it out. Now you guys loving them combustion chambers. So we totally reshaped the combustion chamber and we got rid of all the hot spots. One common issue is that they will burn or they crack from the spark plug to the seat. And I think part of that is because of the way that the factory designs it and we just make them round. Take a look at that sweet exhaust port all blended in this thing took very minimal blending to get it right and i just really i couldn't be happier one thing you'll take notice is this is the one that we did by hand and this is the one that was cnc so they took the hand port and they make it a cnc port same thing on the intake side i think it came out beautiful you can see my fins and right there that is the guy i did by hand and I think it duplicated it perfectly. I think it's important to understand that because it's CNC does not mean it's better. It means that we can do it faster. A lot of guys think that you, because, oh, I have to have a CNC port. Really, that's for us so we can spit them out. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily better. As you can see, they went off of my hand port and then they just duplicate my hand port. Now, this head is actually pretty decent when it comes into core shift. And that's the thing you deal with when you deal with a cast cylinder head is that the core actually shifts and it will only see and see where the head should be and not actually where it is. So we already had the valve job picked out for this thing. As you know, we did it on a past episode and we showed the flowing before and after. So I'm not going to bore you all that. You can check out that whole video. Uh, maybe we could put the link somewhere, maybe even below. Check it out in the comments or the description. But this thing's ready for valve job. And then we are going to show uh, one more flow test, mill and assemble. And this thing's out of here, ready to make some jam. All right, I told the white lie, we are actually going to flow this thing at two more times. Now, I'm going to flow it two more times because I want to show you the difference between the OEM valve and the GSC valve. Believe it or not, there's almost 30 CFM on the exhaust just in the valve change. Let's look at the differences between those two valves now. Here you got the OEM valve, and the OEM valve has kind of like a nail head on the back side of it. This is the exhaust, and here is the intake. And when we are talking about the back side and we're talking about the margin, uh, there is power to be had because the margin here is what takes heat out of the valve, and the back side of the valve is actually what makes it flow good. And if you go over to the GSC, you can see it has a really nice tulip and it has more margin. So the margin is going to help it flow better. It's going to get heat out of the valve. And right here on the back side of the valve is going to make it flow better. The intake side is pretty close to factory. So I don't ex expect anything spectacular out of that. It does have a back cut, which the OEM does not, which is certainly help flow. But let's check it out. All 
right, that was the intake. Now we're going to do the exhaust. First up, stock valve, and then we're going to, so we have a baseline, and then we're going to move to the GSC. Okay, now that we did all of our flow testing, we're very confident in our gains. It's time for mill and assembly. All right, this thing is done and off to the Middle East. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you learned something. And please, please, please like, subscribe, comment below, subscribe, and, and make sure you get the notifications so you can see more. We're going to have a lot more BMW content coming up. We have all kinds of tutorials for cylinder head porting and whatnot. So comment below. Tell me what you want to see. If there's something you want to see, we can put it in a future video. That's it for us. Tutos. Head games!